couple days, I've been making a grand old mess inside our house. It's, uh, well, lots of sawdust, lots of lumber, but progress is happening. I'll show you what I got done so far. I got the whole living room all strapped, uh, except for one little piece over there. Uh, I even put pieces in the ends here. I cut them and fit them up in there. That's for the OSB to uh, nail onto, screw nail on. The reason I put, the reason I strap it is my trusses run this way and I don't ever want the trusses moving. Now the OSB, sure they can hold it and this, and the strapping, I, I mean the trusses may never move now because they are dry. Anyway, I like that three quarter inch airspace in between the OSB and the vapor barrier. Then we also have about a foot of insulation above the vapor barrier up in the attic. But I think if the heat can make its way through the OSB and, and you know, the covering we have on the ceiling itself. I did build the ceilings, the walls a little taller in here so we could uh, fit that, that space. There's no lack of space there. Um, I figure whatever I put on my ceiling, if the heat gets through that and then it has to go through that 7 16 inch OSB, and then you got that pocket of dead airspace in between. There'll be a three quarter inch airspace in between the the OSB and you know in between the plastic, except for where it's sagged in a spot like this. But you'll still have a majority of airspace. So if the heat can get through my ceiling, you've still got to get through that airspace to escape, and then it has to get through the vapor barrier and a foot of uh, ins insulation. So if it can do that, kudos to it. But I don't think it's going to. Anyway, that's, that's what we got so far. Um, I'll go slowly here so I don't make you dizzy. This is what it's looking like in here. This is all the lumber we cut day, this is what we cut day before yesterday. This pile and what's up on the, on the ceiling already. This is some we brought back in here to let dry. And yes, it is messy in here, we've been working. Uh, these are going to be our two window sills I showed you outside, they are drying. And these are, these are enough uh, one inch to do, to do our walls from the kitchen all the way over. I'll finish sheeting that in, vapor barrier. I'm going to change the door. I have a good steel door for here. We're going to finish OSB in this. And then uh, we're going to start putting up our ceiling something this week, I believe. It's coming. It's a slow, progr slow process. And I ended up using some of those... Uh, those boards there with a really nice grain. I put them up there. You're not going to see them. I know it's almost a shame to do it, but lots more where that came from. That's the grain in that board that's just going to be hid under the ceiling. That's just strapping. But whatever. More of it. It dies every year, so whatever. You know, anyway, we're hoping to get. Uh, the ceiling all strapped maybe by today. We're hoping that. And then uh, get our OSB sometime this week. And then we can do the walls and the ceiling. I need 15 sheets of that. Uh, maybe we can get the, the walls and the ceiling all sheeted in with OSB. I can get these two windows tackled. I'll get back on that. And by that time, hopefully, these uh, boards should be dry enough. I can start running through the planer, shiplap them, and do all the walls. And then once that's done, we are going to do a floor in here. And then I plan on starting to make our cupboards. And I will build them as well. Uh, so I've done a little bit of cabinetry before and it's, it's pretty, pretty basic. Anyway, that's what we're up to today, folks. So uh, we'll see what we are at the end of the day. It looks like a war zone in here right now. We didn't get it all finished. It's, uh, what time is it? Uh, 20 to 4. And we are actually uh, calling her quits for tonight. I got almost all the way done here. Uh, these just need uh, uh, 7 more 8 footers. We'll finish that row. 1 4 footer over there. And then it'll be done right to here. And I just have 3 more that need uh, a 4 footer. And then uh, 2 5 footers. And, and then we're done. So, it was a good day, wasn't it, Heather? Yeah, it was awesome. Got a lot of work done. Yeah. I think we're going to drive into town maybe the next few days and order our OSB and get it taken care of. 
And then once this is all done, once you get the ceiling up, we're just going to paint it white. Um, yeah, and then finish our, finish our, uh, like we did that wall a while back. It's kind of a, like I say, it's a, it looks like a war zone. It's really messy in here. But we're going to get at that right away and get her all cleaned up. But, uh, it's nice. The front is just like a, like we get a lot of light coming in the front. And in behind Heather, that's the other window that faces west, that window. And these windows here are all in the south. And that window faces the west, and there's the patio door in the bedroom that faces west as well. Still pretty warm here, it's uh, like uh, minus 9 degrees, not too bad. So that's what we did today. So that ran through quite a bit of our lumber. We ran through, let me see, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 1 by 6 by 12 feet long. Um, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, uh, 1 by 6, 1 by 7 is 8 feet long. Doesn't take long to eat her up. I sure I'm glad we have our own mill. And that's what we have left this bit here. And when we have all that stuff there, we've been slowly sorting through it. And the thickness that matches the best on the ceiling. That's what we've been doing. It's coming, folks. It's slow, but it's coming. Yeah. It's funny, we removed some plastic here, and there was a sheet of OSB I had up there to get up in there. And uh, uh, there was no insulation there at all. But we're still, it still stays really warm in here. Hey, we don't get cold in here, do we, Heather? No, not at all. <laughs> anyway. Well, that's, that's our update for today. Um, we will try to do one tomorrow. Hopefully, uh, we'll have this done, wrapped up, and we'll start putting up our OSB and we can paint it. Okay, folks, you take care, and we'll talk to you another time. Bye-bye.